So we're in the uh, green room right now, um, prior to the show tonight, uh, and uh, on the keys we have Miss Erin Bennett over there, just kind of practicing. No. Yes, Go but away. more more importantly, uh, I found Herschel. Here's Herschel. How are you doing, Herschel? I'm good. Good. Now Herschel plays Mr. Pike in the show, uh, and Herschel, you're uh, you're currently residing in L.A., correct? I am. And how long have you been in L.A.? Since '94. '94. '94. '95. Okay, so about uh, well, 16 years now, right? Right, yeah, God, that's, that's, <laughs> that's pretty terrifying, but yeah. And uh, where were you before uh, Los well, Angeles? I was, I, I was in New York. In fact, uh, I, I left the run of uh, Guys and Dolls. Oh, really? Um, to, move, yeah, to move to L.A. to do film, TV, and animation. Oh, cool. Uh, how long had you been doing Guys and Dolls in New York? Two years. Uh, we, wow. Yeah, that was the Nathan Lane, Jerry Zaks Guys and Dolls. Oh, okay. Wow, that uh, two years sounds like a pretty long time to run a show. Yeah, uh, but the, the show I did previous to that, I ran for two years too, City of Angels. Oh, okay. In fact, that's what I thought you did. I thought you auditioned. Uh, <laughs> Got cast in a Broadway show, ran for two years, and then moved on to the next one. I was quite imagine my shock when I found out <laughs> after that. But no. Right. Uh, so now, um, immediately prior to Paradise Lost, what uh, what was the last kind of creative, artistic thing you were doing? I was involved in two workshops for new musicals. Mm -hmm. um, one in musical adaptation of Cyrano. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the other one uh, called Big Rosemary, that was written by Blake Edwards and the music with, by Morrison, the guy who did The Drowsy Chaperone. And, uh, oh, okay. Both of those are still in workshop. You know, and, and in fact, I'm going to do Cyrano when I get back. Okay, uh, cool. To LA for the new musical uh, festival. Are they tied to particular theaters uh, yet? or? Well, actually, ironically, both of them were picked up for a workshop by the Pasadena Playhouse the uh, day before they went, uh, you know, belly up. Uh -huh. Whatever they did. The yeah. suspension, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, looking for a new home, I guess. Right. Okay. So, now, um, have you ever worked uh, in Seattle before? First time. First time, okay. Uh, have you been up here before? First time, really. Okay, cool. And, um, Enjoying it? Absolute delight. The audiences are unbelievably sophisticated in terms of theater. Uh, as an example, we have the talkbacks after uh -huh. the show. And I've done these all over the country, and so far they haven't asked the two questions that I dread so much. You know, it's like, uh, how tall are you? <laughs> and is it hard to learn all those words? You know, they, they don't ask questions like that here. They get into, into real, um, the, the, the real ups and downs and nuts and bolts of the play. Cool, cool. Now, um, have you ever worked on uh, Odette's before? First time for that. Okay, very cool. So, this is your first time working on Clifford Odette's and your first time in Seattle and working at the Intamon. Absolutely. How excited were you when you found out I was in the show? And you are. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm occasionally on stage when you are. Oh, really? Yes. And what part do you play? <laughs> I just have a couple small things. Are you enjoying it? Actually, my part is uh, doing all these interviews. That's uh, that's why I was hired. <laughs> so, uh, I can tell you were thrilled uh, at, at, the, at the prospect of working with me. So, um, well, cool. Uh, I think that's about it. So I will. We, you know, we're getting close to show time. I'll let you relax in your last few minutes here, and uh, hope you have a great show. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Herschel. All right. See you guys later. Bye.